Hey everyone and welcome back. I hope you guys are all having a really great spring so far. I am so excited because it has been sunny for almost a week straight. I am starting to get my tan back. For some reason though, I can never tan like my neck and chest. Arms though get like super dark and tan, but then my neck and chest and my face don't. Today of course is my Oh, and I didn't start this the same way that I normally start my monthly favorites, but today is going to be my May favorites. I want to film like a couple videos today. I have not filmed in a very long time, but I do have like two or three videos that are filmed that are in the queue to be edited. I am just very bad at editing videos. Those ones will hopefully be coming out soon and now I'm gonna just go on a rampage and film a bunch of stuff. May and June is just so busy, work is really busy. There's so many activities in May and June and the weather's nice so I don't want to be inside filming. Oh and uh, this is a big uh, moment for me. I hit 1,000 subscribers a couple days ago. Today is May 25th, 26th. Today's May 26th. Took a while, but I'm here. <laughs> One of my goals for 2017 was actually to get to 1,000 subscribers, but here we are at the end of May and we are at 1,000. So thank you guys so much for subscribing. And if you're new, welcome to my channel. So grateful for all of you guys who subscribe and watch my videos. So I guess then I will just get straight into my monthly favorites. Thank you guys so much for watching and enjoy. Let's start off with this little sponge. This is dirty. Every time I show you guys a sponge on camera, it is dirty. And it's dirty because I used it today to apply my foundation and concealer. And this is the Equal Tools sponge. I actually don't know what it's called. It's the one that comes with this and like a little lighter green one. Recently got it actually, but I love it. I have been using it every day since I got it. It's kind of like damp right now because I used it today. And it's got like a cool shape. It's got two flat sides right here and here. And then the tip here is kind of like a flat ridge. The bottom of course is like round. And I love this for applying my foundation. I've been using it straight since I got it every day. It's so fast, it's so easy. It doesn't soak up a lot of product. It blends everything else so quickly. Um, it's such a good sponge and I think it is my favorite sponge from the drugstore. I like this one a lot better than the little light green one that it comes with that's meant for like concealer. That one's okay, but I feel like this one I use more often, so yes. Okay, next up I have two brushes. They are both from e.l.f. and these are also, ooh, these are also recent purchases. This is the e.l.f. stipple brush. Not like a short little brush, like it's pretty tiny next to my face. And it's just your basic stipple brush, but I love this for quick mornings when I don't want to pick up too much bronzer or blush and it's really good at distributing product across over your face. I feel like I'm talking really fast in this video. I use it for powder products but it would also work really well for cream products. It's just good in the morning when you're afraid of dipping into a blush and picking up way too much product. I've been loving this. I use it pretty much every morning. It has been my new little favorite stippling brush. And the next brush like I said is also from e.l.f. and this is their little blending brush. So it's kind of like a fat uh, fan brush. So looking straight on it looks like a fan brush but then it is pretty fat and it's pretty dense as well. I love this one for cream products. I use this for with cream bronzer all the time, cream contour. I really love this for contouring my cheekbones. I like it for bronzing as well. It kind of gets my forehead really well because I don't have that big of a forehead and this size is just perfect. It gets right up in there. Good for jaw lines as well when you want to look chiseled. It works both with powder and with cream products. It's just such a soft beautiful brush. It doesn't apply things patchy at all. It is really amazing and I would highly recommend if you're looking for a good contouring brush. I am just whizzing by these favorites. That's good because I have quite a few videos that I want to film today. The next favorite is actually two products but combined. So I really only like these products when I mix them together. And these are the L'Oreal Infallible Total Cover Foundation and the Milani Prime Light face primer for strobing and pore minimizing. I actually like this one alone as well, but this foundation, I really only like this foundation when I mix this primer into it. Mix both of these products onto the back of my hand in pretty much equal amounts, maybe a little bit more foundation than the primer. I mix them on the back of my hand and I just like apply it onto my face, 
blend it out with this and that has been my go-to routine in the morning. I'm starting to wear foundation a little bit more often now. I think the reason I'm wearing more foundation lately has been because I really want to test out sponges. So anyways, this has been my morning routine. There are sparkles in here but it's not super visible on your face. It just gives you a nice glowy radiant sheen and this foundation has amazing coverage like honestly this has probably the best coverage foundation it is probably the best coverage foundation at the drugstore but it is so such a weird consistency it's like super thick it comes out in like a glob and it i don't know it's the weirdest thing it, it doesn't feel thick on your face but it is a very very thick consistency foundation it, by itself it felt really, really dry to me. Like it looked dry on my face. It didn't actually feel dry, but it looked dry on my face. And I could never really get into it. I bought this like a long time ago and I just tried it a couple times and I just didn't really get into it. But now that I figured out you can mix any type of like dewy, radiant primer in with this foundation, it is amazing. The foundation alone kind of has just like a satin, almost matte finish, but with this, like uh, with a dewy radiant primer mixed in, it just has the most beautiful, natural finish on your face, but with amazing coverage. And I've just been loving it so much and I cannot put these two products down. Next up, I have a highlighter and I don't know if I've actually spoken about this on my channel or talked about it in a monthly favorite before but i've had this for like a long time and this is the elf baked blush in the shade pink tastic this is a baked blush but i have no idea whose face is light enough to wear this as a blush i'm actually wearing it today it's uh the highlighter i have on i do have a different one on as well but this is mainly the highlighter that I have on my face. It gives you such a beautiful, glowy sheen. It is pretty intense, but that at the same time, it kind of just looks like sweat. It just looks very natural. I know that e.l.f. has a couple of actual baked highlighters that are, apparently you have to like scrub off the top of the top layer, but with this product, you don't need to scrub off the top layer. It is smooth, it's soft, it's it's beautiful. It's pretty small, but it has like a dome shape, so you do get a decent amount of product. And wearing it every day, I love it. And if you really want that dewy, fresh spring look, I would recommend this highlighter. Last up, I have a, another e.l.f. product. I talked about so many e.l.f. products. e.l.f. is definitely one of my favorite brands at the drugstore. This is e.l.f.'s new eyeshadow palette. It is the Mad for Matte 2. This is what it looks like. Full of matte shades. Got a range of light neutrals to dark neutrals to some warm pops of color in between. It's a beautiful arrangement of colors. It's a wonderful formula. I like this one a lot more than I like their original Mad for Matte. I think the formula is better than the original Mad for Matte. This one seems a little bit more pigmented, a little bit smoother, not quite as chalky as the other one is. I love the original Mad for Matte, but I think this one in formulation and color selection is a little bit better. I know I love my Beauty Treats Modern Matte palette, but I have been reaching for this one more. I'm wearing it on my eyes today. I used this color all over my lid and into my crease, and I just mixed this brown one really close to my uh, lash line. I would highly recommend it. It is amazing. And that sums up my May favorite. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please subscribe if you would like to see more of my videos, and I will see you in my next one. Bye!